Alberta food banks are continuing to see a sharp rise in users. We're growing uh, more than 20 percent per month. But the demand for culturally diverse food items is also seeing a surge, with one in four food bank clients identifying as an immigrant, refugee, or from a visible minority group. We want to be as supportive as we can as an organization to that diversity. That's why Edmonton's food bank's programming continues to involve to accommodate dietary and cultural food restrictions. Edmonton's food bank has tried to meet the need of our community. So everything from somebody identifying as celiac or diabetic. We've also tailored hampers to individuals that require pork-free hampers. We even purchase halal chickens for those individuals as well. And in partnership with the Islamic Family and Social Services Association, halal food hampers are offered to all those in need, serving more than 5,000 people each month. Providing people food that they eat is really important. Food in the hampers meet Islamic dietary criteria and food items are free of alcohol and pork products. They also do their best to ensure the food hampers meet the client's regular dietary customs, including rice, flour, lentils and oil. You can put food in front of people, but if it isn't, doesn't meet their tastes, then there's a huge disconnect. In addition to this, there's often dietary laws, other restrictions that might um, that might impact whether people can feel safe eating the food. Edmonton's food bank says during difficult times like these, it's important that their door is open to everyone. All foods fit for us, so everything is appreciated and counts and helps us get it out to the community. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.